Lamar is pleased about the fact that he can do anything he likes sexually to the doll based on his ex. <laughs> this is actually nasty, bro. <laughs> All right, fellas, welcome back. I'm sorry I've been gone for a couple of weeks. Criminally horny, bro. Such, but I'm back here on the internet now, and man, you know, you, you open Twitter, you go on the timeline, you find more stupid shit to make fun of. So here we are. Does right this shit back, have like, like a? Never happened, dudes. Before I read you today's headline, I've got a question for everybody. So, I'm sure every man watching this video has a female, maybe kind of an ex uh, friend of the past that you really miss hanging out with. That you really, really just wish maybe you could smash one last time. What the you fuck? You know what I mean? I bet somebody is coming to mind as I'm saying this right now. Maybe somebody, an ex-girlfriend, maybe it was toxic, horrible, maybe the whole thing was just a bad idea, but maybe you're just like, damn, I wish I could just hit one more time. You I'm know, not gonna lie, awesome. I can't relate, bro. I'm in a happy, happy relationship now. That always haunts you, right? That one demon ass always one living demon right ass. in your head. Well, my question is, what are you gonna do about it? And the answer for 99% of us is nothing. nothing right? Yeah. You're just gonna leave whatever behind mental you, bro. imagery that you're Literally you behind you, bro. I can see that, that on the mini map. Sorry, y'all. Up in your mind, you could refer back to it at any time, but it's over, right? It was fun while it lasted, but it's over now. Well, not if you're a Lamar Odom, dog. Lamar Odom, who I'm sure you're all familiar with, is slammed for ordering an $8,000 sex doll modeled on his ex-wife, Khloe Kardashian. <laughs> this is a gooner, bro. What the hell? Oh my god, what? Kardashian. Beyond <laughs> creepy. Now, man, there's all types of things fucked up. Lamar, bro, come on, nigga. This is crazy. $8,000 for a sex doll after your ex, bro? <laughs> this is crazy, about dude. This. The, the main one being, why the hell is this on the internet, bro? Like, <laughs> why did this get out? Why was this released to the public, right? Bro, bro is... Nah, that, that's a different level of horny, bro. Criminally horny is, is a great title for this, bro. You should have kept this one in the drafts. Lamar Odom has been slammed for ordering a customized sex doll with a face modeled on that of his ex-wife, Khloe Kardashian. The 45-year-old NBA star was married to Khloe from 2009 to 16 in a relationship <laughs> that was rocked by his infidelities and substance abuse. Now, like, bro, you ruined that relationship yourself, bro. Lamar has commissioned a bespoke life-size sex doll with a curvy figure and Chloe's features, his manager <laughs> Gina Rodriguez told TMZ. Wait, Wait Gina Rodriguez? Shit, did... Gina Rodriguez? Ain't that the, the, the girl from uh, 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 that Virgin show? Or whatever the shit was called? I forgot what it was called. Gina, the manager. Gina, why did you tell anybody this? This is uh, <laughs> information I don't think the public needed to know. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, this is not something that anybody needed in, to know, like, bro. Putting out a press release about such a thing. There's an old saying that all publicity is good publicity, but after seeing Jane the this, Virgin, I, yeah. I'm gonna have to disagree. This is a crazy ass thing to do, bro. How fucking horny can you be, dead ass? Like <laughs> that is when actually I say an insane amount of horniness, horny, bro. I really mean criminally, uh, terminally, perhaps. Terminally is a better word. I'm not gonna lie, Gina bro. Gina added that Lamar is pleased about the fact that he can do anything he likes sexually to the doll based on his ex. <laughs> bro, why, dude? This is actually nasty, bro. His wife. What? <laughs> Fellas, the motherfucking FBI could not waterboard <laughs> that sentence out of me. The fact that she's providing this <laughs> level of detail is. Yo. <laughs> Social media users reacted with disgust on X, formerly Twitter, where one observer wrote, This is beyond weird and creepy. Daily Mail has reached out to a representative for Chloe for comment. What the hell are they going to say? <laughs> Literally, what, what is she going to say? What are they going to say? Imagine, like, the PR version of their response. We're so pleased to hear that Lamar is ordering a doll so he could face fuck our client <laughs> some more. Like... <laughs> what? Twenty <laughs> k? Lamar bought the toy from Real Doll, which typically retails its products for between eight thousand and twenty thousand dollars. Oh, you cheap ass nigga, bro! You got the 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 cheapest doll of your wife, bro! You cheap ass nigga, bro! 
though he is said to have gotten a discount. This uh, is actually okay, one never of the mind. crazier parts right here. It never says, mind. He learned about the company from a news story a month ago and then toured the Las Vegas factory last week while toured? visiting for his birthday. Bro, bro. <laughs> Sin, 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 he was a baby, <laughs> Heard about this and flew out to the fucking factory to inspect it. He took it's his ridiculous. whole team of people, probably on a private jet. It was like, yo, we're about to pull up to the sex doll factory with the squad here. Dude, and then just by nature, this is he's insanity. All of his homies know that he's doing this anyway. Like, they're all walking through there together. Dude. I don't even know what to say, man. I, I'm going to show you either. a picture of the doll in a second. All right, fellas, are you ready for the doll reveal? Are you ready? Uh, uh, apparently, this, I don't know if it's the actual doll or... or that doesn't even look like her, bro! A prototype, but this is the $8,000 doll that Lamar Odom is custom ordering. <laughs> nah, bro, it doesn't even look like her. the holidays, man. He won't have to spend the holidays alone. Maybe, maybe that's what she looked like, like... Before she got older, maybe that's what he based it off of. Cause Cause she don't look like that. This beauty right here that looks like a botched plastic surgery version. Literally doesn't even look like her, bro. Doesn't even look. This shit's heavy. Oh fuck! Things is criminally horny, bro. The titties on her are bigger than the titties on her, bro. This is crazy, bro. This don't look like her, bro. Version of his ex-wife, which is ironic in itself because she's a Kardashian. She, she also has facial surgery. Feast your eyes, man. He said it, it looks like a botched version of her, which is ironic because she also does facial surgery. And are you ready for the craziest part? This has got to be the craziest part of this entire story. It says, Lamar was shown the doll that he was told had the biggest tits and biggest ass in the factory. And he took his time marveling at the creation. <laughs> he squeezed the breast and touched one of the feet, remarking that the figure was so realistic, it looked like she got blood running through her veins right here. Dude, he was- That nigga is- That nigga's a gooner, bro. That, that nigga's a deal like gooner, bro. There's no way he squeezed the titties and then felt the feet. Felt the feet? After squeezing the titties, bro, what the- was walking around the factory squeezing fake tits and fake ass like it is this is glorious, ridiculous dude. it was like a fucking kid at a candy store i'm genuinely speechless dude an eight thousand dollar doll dude there's not a single chick in my past i could imagine dropping that kind of money on to make a a doll's face look like her and then you're just taking a trip to go shopping for it like you're fucking going interior decorating or something like you're no, going to home goods <laughs> Yeah, dude. This is crazy. Oh God, dude, I honestly wish I gave this a little of a fuck about things. I do, dude. I'd be a lot happier. I guess when you got money, shit just gets different, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Well, fellas, that is certainly <laughs> is crazy. and absolutely enough goddamn motherfucking internet for today. Dude, I had even more stories for today's video about criminal horniness. I'm not even going to share them anymore because I realized that's the top. nothing's going to top this shit. Yeah, that's the this top is dog. absolutely insane. And you got to be some kind of psychopath to even do this in the first place. But to make it public and tell your manager to do a press release. Nah, man, this is different. This a is press different release is crazy, not though. Not in a good way. If horniness was a crime, this man would literally be on death row, dude. They, they, they would skip trial and everything. It would be the swiftest execution of the crime to ever exist. Man. Anyway, you fellas let me know what you think down in the comments below, because I'm sure the fellas are going to have oh so much to say about all this. And I love oh, yeah. reading your comments as always. If you guys enjoyed the video or were absolutely horrified by it, losing brain cells. I'm like definitely like, that shit was funny, bro. I, <sighs> come on, bro. Come on, bro. That's, that's just the disgusting level of horniness, bro. I can't even lie to you, dude.